Welcome to your weekly digest about all cybersecurity news of the week, all in less than five minutes. Here is a comprehensive list of major cybersecurity incidents from September 16th to September 22nd, 2024. Microsoft September Patch Tuesday Microsoft patched 79 vulnerabilities, including four zero days, such as a remote code execution flaw, CVE 2024-43491, in Windows Update and a privilege escalation vulnerability in Windows Installer, CVE 2024-38042. These were actively exploited in the wild. Ivanti Vulnerabilities Ivanti addressed a second vulnerability, CVE 2024-8963, in its Cloud Services Appliance, or CSA, that was being actively exploited, following the previously disclosed CSA flaw, CVE 2024-8192. Both vulnerabilities could allow remote code execution. Atlassian Vulnerabilities Atlassian released patches for high-severity vulnerabilities affecting Bamboo, Bitbucket, Confluence, and Crowd. Black Suit Ransomware Attack on Charles Darwin School The Black Suit Ransomware Gang stole sensitive student data from the school, continuing the trend of ransomware attacks on educational institutions. Port of Seattle Cyber Attack Hackers demanded $6 million in ransom after breaching the systems of the Port of Seattle. The port declined to pay, and the attack raised concerns over critical airport infrastructure. Global Takedown of Ghost Communication Platform Europol and Global Law Enforcement dismantled the ghost-encrypted communication platform used by criminal organizations for activities like drug trafficking and money laundering. Operation Flax Typhoon Botnet Disruption The U.S. and its allies took control of a Chinese government-sponsored botnet known as Flax Typhoon. This botnet had compromised 260,000 devices, including routers and cameras. GitLab Authentication Bypass Vulnerability GitLab recently patched a critical SAML authentication bypass vulnerability, this issue affected both community and enterprise editions, preventing unauthorized access. Phishing and brute force attacks on critical infrastructure. 80% of critical infrastructure organizations experienced email-based attacks, while construction firms faced brute force attacks targeting accounting software with weak credentials. Pig butchering scams. These scams, where victims are convinced to invest in bogus schemes, continue to rise, with notable successes in tracking down some of the stolen funds. Now let's go for the last week's CVE with a CVSS score higher than 8.5. CVE 2024-40711, a critical remote code execution vulnerability in Veeam backup and replication, allowing unauthenticated attackers to execute code remotely with a CVSS score of 9.8, CVE 2024-45695, and CVE 2T24-45694. Stack-based buffer overflow vulnerabilities in D-Link wireless routers, allowing remote code execution by unauthenticated attackers, both with a CVSS score of 9.8, CVE 2024-46918 a vulnerability in MSP that allows unauthorized access to sensitive login data, affecting administrators, with a CVSS score of 9.8. CVE 2024-8868, SQL injection vulnerability in code projects. CRUD operation system, leading to potential data leakage and remote code execution, with a CVSS score of 9.8. CVE 2024-41874, deserialization of untrusted data in Adobe Cold Fusion, which could lead to arbitrary code execution, with a CVSS score of 9.8. CVE 2024-29847, remote code execution via deserialization vulnerability in Avanti Endpoint Manager, affecting its agent portal, with a CVSS score of 9.8. Keep tuning in and subscribe to the YouTube channel to get notified on new content.
I'm spending my best efforts to give quality to the community. Take care. Cheers.